guess you can't actually see it from there. Let's go over here. Why don't you just look at that? It's pouring. It is a really moody day today. Might as well just head out and take some rainy day photos or something. Just gotta have my breakfast first. downside of rainy days. Okay, so there's quite a few things why I pick rainy days when I want to take photos. One of them is, well, all the colorful umbrellas and raincoats and everything like that. Those just punch out on a rainy day, on a dark, moody day. And of course, when there's rain, everything gets kind of saturated more than usual. I've had my coffee, I've took some photos, and I'm going to take some more photos. So. Let's get on with it. And of course, the difference between a rainy day and a sunny day shoot is that you have to really think what your next step is. You're usually sitting or standing underneath something, just waiting for a moment, and then you just gotta run to the rain and take that shot because otherwise your gear is gonna get busted and that is something that I don't want. On a sunny day, you could just, you know, stand around, sit around anywhere and just wait for the perfect moment. Of course, the perfect moment might not be that often because of course it's rainy and there's not a lot of people around if you wanna take photos of people walking, doing their everyday stuff, you know? So there's that. So as you can see, the weather cleared out, the rain has stopped, so I decided to come home and record the rest of the video, but the X100V shined yet again. That is one of my favorite street photography cameras, and those photos actually show why, because they came out just as I wanted them to. The only thing that I used here were film simulation recipes. The first one is my own film simulation recipe that I did a video about. Go check that out if you haven't already. And I'm just gonna call it Moody Summer right now until I get better <laughs> name suggestions for it. The other one was monochrome. It was just Fujifilm's own monochrome simulation that I tweaked out a little bit, adding some shadows and highlights. And I think those turned out pretty great. The positive thing about monochrome and black black and white photography is that even though the subject or the thing you are photographing it turns out really interesting with black and white photography that's just my opinion and I love seeing black and white photos now and then even though I think that sometimes they're soulless and the colors are what gives soul to a photo but otherwise they're just sometimes they give this kind of punch to the photos. Now, if you're thinking about getting the X106, that is a great camera too. These film simulations that I use, they work on the X-Trans 5 also, but you could probably find the X105 a little bit cheaper right now used, of course, because you can't get it new. It's still out of stock some places, but I this is used. I use it a lot. I suggest using the X105 if you can get one. So that's the video for today. I don't know what else to tell you today about this photo shoot, about this camera. I've told you a lot about it. There's a lot of videos on my channel about the X105, but still, if you haven't gotten one, get one. It's a great street photography camera. It's a great camera just to capture things on the go and 
I just freaking love it. It goes into my hoodie pocket like this and there it stays. So remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and I'll be seeing you on the next one.